Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Pots & Co. This is hazelnut and chocolate pots and chocolate and salted caramel lava cakes. These were both bought at Costco. The hazelnut were $9.99. The uh, salted caramel were $10.59. So a little bit more for the salted caramel. So the hazelnut you eat straight out of the package. These are both in the refrigerated section. Keep them refrigerated once you get them home until you're ready to eat them. But the hazelnut you do not heat in the oven at all. The chocolate and salted caramel lava cakes you do bake in the oven. So you preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which I have done and you open your package take out as many as you want so let's see these are nice containers because you can snap them back so there's your pot right there i'm only going to make one for kevin and i to share and these are really nice pots by the way you can put these in the dishwasher you can put them um, in the microwave the freezer and i mean you can keep these so the yes you're paying 9.99 and 10.59 but you're also investing in some little uh ramekins that's what i would call them little pots so you want to remove your cut your lid and then you put it in uh, put it on a tray and then I am going to bake this at 350 for 12 minutes. You can also microwave it for 40 seconds, but I think if you can bake it, you sh always should because it's gonna be better in the oven. So I'm gonna get it in for 12 minutes and then once it's finished, we'll actually talk about both of them. Okay, so our, our chocolate uh, salted caramel is cooked for 12 minutes, but it will have time to cool while we talk about these other ones because I haven't talked about them at all. So this is the um, hazelnut and chocolate pots. You wanna go ahead and take one out of there. Um, it says it is smooth pot de cream, handmade with 55% Colombian chocolate and topped with caramelized hazelnuts. These are both handmade in London. They are uh, you keep them refrigerated. They are not suitable for freezing. So you, this is something I know some people like to buy like muffins from Costco and they like to put them in the freezer and because they're, they're huge and um, you can't do that with these. You just have to keep them refrigerated and they do have a limited shelf life. Just know that. So this one does not have any uh, preparation directions because uh, you eat this one cold. So the bottom looks like this. It but looks it's done a nice little cut. It, yes, this is very nice. So I have always wanted some of these. So I'm gonna have eight little cups here, uh, four red and four blue. So whenever you all see these, those of you that have watched this review, you'll know where those little cups came from when I use them. So uh, it says no preservatives, non-GMO, vegetarian. So they are, um, they're shipped out of Los Angeles, California, but they are handmade in London. Do we put all these in? Uh, you can leave it like that, and then we can add a little bit more in a minute. Let's see what this says on the inside. They give you a lot of crumbles, little toppings. Uh, Our pots aren't just pretty. Baking our desserts in their pots gives them their signature depth and intense creaminess, while naturally um, doubling their fridge life. Uh, head to usa.potsandco.com for a wave of ways to reuse and recycle your pot. Hmm. Um, yeah, they're like ceramic. Best enjoyed with a teaspoon. It makes all the difference. Small. <laughs> okay. Small cup. So this one is, it says there's four servings in the container. One pot, 85 grams, is 360 calories. The lot for that little bit. 360, but it's it's pure hazelnut and chocolate cream. Yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah, they're not very deep, but they're, no, they're not very deep. But they're they're big. Mm. And the topping. It's like a hazelnut. Pudding. It's caramelized hazelnuts. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's not quite as thick as a mousse, 
Um, Wait till you get some done in your teeth. Oh yeah, they're, they're salt. Stiff. Yeah, you get a little bit of salt. My goodness, those are good. That's very good, but the flavor just keeps coming because mm. you get these little pieces down in your teeth, and, and they do stick just a little bit, but. They have a, a terrific saltiness to them, mm -hmm. which wasn't even mentioned, but I love that. It's got a good hazelnut. You got like hazelnut. hazelnut. Yes. Because it's pure hazelnut. Yeah, I love the hazelnut flavor. Okay. This one is um, the chocolate and salted caramel lava cake. Luxurious chocolate cake with a salted caramel center, handmade with sustainable Colombian chocolate, and a hint of sea salt. So this one did not say sea salt. This one says a hint of sea salt. So I'm wondering if if I tasted the salt in this one, I'm wondering how salty this one's gonna be. Um, and this one, of course, is the one that we baked, or you could put it in the microwave. If you wanna put it in the microwave, um, you put it on a microwave safe plate, heat pot on full power for 40 seconds, and then leave to stand one minute before serving. Uh, be careful, the pot will be hot. Don't reheat once it's cooked. So once it's cooked, it's, you need to eat it. Um, so this one is They're not huge, so I can't imagine reheating eating half of that. Well, some people might. This one is 500 calories. Wow. So the hazelnut was 350, 360, and this one's 500. 500 calories. Okay. It's got kind of a liquidy center, so you want to definitely get some of that. I got a very big bite. Might be, uh, very hot. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. I love the, um, the crust. Mm -hmm. The, um, uh, it has a, it's not crispy or crunchy. It's just a firm crust over the top. And then in the in the middle, you um, it's good. you have that uh, the caramel center. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be. I think the caramel is a little bit different than uh, well. There's different caramels. There's just different caramels. Mm. And so this caramel is not like an incredibly sweet caramel. No, it's but not I still sweet. think it's I think it's delicious. It's very very good. Mm -hmm. It's just not what I consider a sweet dessert. It's more like a I don't know, it's just, it's just uh, it's not even a cake. Well, it's kind of like just cake. But it is not going to last long. For 500 calories, you see, Kevin and I took a bite, and well, half I took of like it. Three bites. Oh, did you? <laughs> well, well, half of it is gone. So these. I was trying to make sure I got They are the small, and when I take the pictures. Um, you'll see how thick they are. You'll see how thick they are. They're, they're not very. So, like, the, the pot is this big, but. There's like a line right here. That's about where That's it's at. about where it's at. Now so, the cake filled it up pretty full. Yes, the cake the cake was fuller, but this one in particular was uh, it's only like halfway. Yeah, one more little bit of this. But for uh, it's funny because that one is the one that mentioned the sea salt, and I didn't taste the sea salt mm -hmm. at all in that. And I did taste the sea salt in the hazelnut and chocolate one. I actually got pieces of sea salt in my teeth. Um, Probably so, from the nuts. I'm sure it's from the hazelnuts. I the know. crystallized hazelnuts. Oh, right yeah. Um, you know what? I like both of them. And for different reasons, though. I like the chocolatey yes. flavor of the cake. I like the caramel flavor. Um, I do like caramel, even though it's not a traditional American cube caramel. Right. Um, but I really like the hazelnut flavor of that one, too. So, really, it's, I like both totally of them. They're totally different. Yeah. But since they're pricey, since they're pricey items, which one would you spend your money on again? Probably the cake. The I would too. Yeah. I would and, too. And I, it, I don't would... know how much of a difference it makes to put it in the microwave or the oven, mm -hmm. but um, I think I would just throw that in the microwave. Um, now that we've made it in the oven, um, I, I can honestly say I don't think putting it in the, in the microwave would make that much of a difference. I really what don't. What's the texture on top of these? Well, they're covered, aren't they? Yeah, they're I'm covered. I'm just wondering what the texture was on the top. Oh, well, one. they're easy. You can, and that's the thing about these, is you can um, pop the lid back on them. I mean, were they really, really soft? I didn't touch it. <laughs> I didn't touch it before I stuck it in the oven. 
No, it's already firm. Okay, so really you're not, so you're it's not crisping already, it up or anything. It's all, well, I can't make you hear that noise, but <laughs> it's already firm. So yeah, most of the time in the mic in the oven, you're wanting to, to cr crisp, crisp up it up. up since so if you're a, just heating it up and melting whatever's yeah. in the middle, then I think you'd be fine. I think you would totally be okay putting it in the microwave. And like I said, you can um, pop the lid back on. You're not supposed to reheat it, it says. So really for the, uh, for the lava cake, you want to go ahead and eat it in yeah. one go. Uh, but for these, if you don't want to eat the whole dessert, you heard it snap on there, you can put that right back in the refrigerator and eat it later if you want to. So, you know, Kevin and I have no will, so we're, we're going to eat it all at one time. Um, but they're both very good, but we agree the, the this lava one, this cakes. This one I like the, the, the flavor. They're, one. they're the way to go. Uh, and those were <laughs> the expensive, yeah. So, well... <laughs> $9.99 and $10.59, and um, I think it's a good deal, especially when you get to, yeah, you get to four keep four pots. Yeah. yeah, just know that you can go, I think you'd be completely safe baking it in the microwave. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.